Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge interior wall sconce called the Ribbon. There are two ribbons. We'll go over the differences between them. There's a separate video for the other ribbon. We're going to be talking about the 204104. So the, this ribbon actually is using a clear piece of glass and it's going to be this number 236 glass and what happens is it's the uh, socket is actually sitting inside this white little uh, glass cup which sits inside the clear one and you get a setup pretty much like this and the reason why that this little diffuser is in there is because it's hiding this socket and this halogen bulb you can also use LEDs in this we'll go over that in a second <clears throat> but the difference between this, the 204104, and its brother, which is the 204101, is going to be the socket setup. And the socket on the 204101 is the medium base socket that can take the big LED and it doesn't have the setup where you have the little glass and the clear glass. It's the one that has this, um, the G9 socket. <clears throat> there are if you go back and look at the chandeliers for the ribbons, you'll notice there's um, almost identical, they are identical chandeliers that are going to give you the option of going with that opaque single piece of glass or the clear glass of the diffuser. And, and the same goes for those chandeliers. You're talking one is going to let you use these LEDs in this big, this big socket, and the other one is going to keep you in this little G9 with the halogen or a small LED, but we'll, like I said, we're going to go over that in a second. So let's talk about the size on this. This is 9 inches tall five inches wide projection from the wall out is six inches uh, it's going to accept like I said before a it's going to ship with a 60 watt halogen bulb and halogen a G9 has those little prongs on the bottom see them right there and then they just clip right into they just push right into a G9 socket so it's going to cap you at 60 watts for a halogen bulb you can put in a whole bunch of different LED bulbs that exist out in the marketplace. So this is a phosphorus LED. This is also a phosphorus LED. That's what those orange bars are. This is called a Cobb LED. And if you see, there's a whole bunch of little tiny LEDs all around this, like a corn cob, hence the name. So there's all kinds of LEDs that will fit into this. Most of these are going to max out about a 40 to a 60 watt equivalent, just FYI. I would recommend using the halogen that's going to come with it just for now. Never touch a halogen bulb with your bare fingers like I'm doing. It diminishes the life of the bulb. But going back, so I would use this bulb. It's going to come with it to begin with. It dims beautifully. You kind of have it. Might as well use it. And then down the road, wander into the LEDs once you guys have a chance to research them a little bit more. Okie doke. So that is it on that. This is going to go over a normal junction box, 4-inch J box, just so you know. And why don't we talk about metal finishes? So, if you go to our website, handmadeinvermont.com, if you're not on there already, go there. Midway down, left hand side, red tabs. Uh, there's a finishes help guide to give it a click. And watch that video, and you'll see a chart just below that. And it's going to have pictures with A's and B's on them. And we're going to be referencing those A's and B's in that video. And it's very important because that video is going to talk and walk you through the differences between opaque finishes and translucent finishes and how they look on heavy forging. And there's some heavy forging on this fixture. So it's important to check that out. Other than that, you really just have um, your glass to go over. And this, this is your opal glass, which is the white one. It'll warm up when the lights are on, but when it's off, it's going to be pretty white. And then clear is clear. We know what that is. So this is also going to ship with this. This is a... Um, it's called a um, G9. Uh, it's a tool, basically. And what this does is it goes over the... I don't know if I have one handy here. It goes over... It's a retaining ring tool that's going to come automatically with it, and it accepts the little retaining ring. That, and there's a couple of them involved here that are going to kind of keep this down on the fixture. Don't throw this away when you get it. Put it into a drawer someplace and just keep it, because you're going to need it down the road someday when you want to clean the glass and take those pieces off. Okay, so uh, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, the shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We have 90-day returns and no restocking fees, so it's important that you check that out on our website. We also offer a rush program, and the rush program takes you from Hubbardton's normal nine, uh, I'm sorry, three to four week uh, lead time down to less than two weeks in production. So um, just 
it's very cheap. It's well worth just contacting us if you guys want us to look into it for you. People do it all the time, basically, but a lot of you guys don't know it exists. We also have a showroom with all of these wonderful things there, 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. Showrooms open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6, and you can call us every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time and talk to me if you want to. So on top of that, we have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's in our showroom. You can walk out the door with it. It's a lot of fun to check out. You have to come to, to use it. And um, I think that's about it. Email us at sales at handmaidenvermont.com. And then you can also um, call us at 802-446-2400 uh, every day, like I said, except Sunday. And then we have vacation rentals in Vermont that you can check out and check out our showroom, stayinvermont.org. Okay, so I think that kind of covers pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, let us know, and thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.